Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. In the 2012 Autodesk product lines, something new you get when you buy the Autodesk product design suite is Sketchbook Designer. Well, you might be familiar with Autodesk Sketchbook Mobile, available for the iPad and the iPhone. So you might think of Sketchbook Designer as a step up, a more full-featured program intended for product designers. I doubt you'll need much training or tutorial to get going with this program. Its setup is fairly straightforward. There is a series of brush styles and pen styles that you can apply to your drawing. Primarily, it's a program where you'll be working with curves. Now, you don't really need a stylus-enabled tablet or pad to use it. But I think you'll get a lot more out of the program if you can install it on a touch-enabled tablet PC. I have worked in other programs that let you work with splines and curves, but I have to say the response behavior of the curves in Sketchbook Designer is very smooth. It doesn't just reshape itself when you edit it, but it seems to know quite well how to resolve the nearby tangents and curve segments. The result is you usually get a smooth transition between curve segments after you edit. Not just the kind of bumpy curves that shows that someone has made a lot of edits before it is finalized. So, also to add flair to your drawing, you can add color fills, solid, or gradients. Just like your curves, the position, character, and the flow of the gradient can also be very easily adjusted and reformatted. If you have ever worked in Photoshop or in AutoCAD, for example, I'm sure you are familiar with the idea of working on layers. So here you can use the same treatment to separate different components of your drawings on different layers. I have, for example, the body of my vehicle on one layer and the internal doors and windows in another layer. These layers can be turned on or turned off depending on which part you're working on. Now that allows me, of course, to edit them independently and also apply different strokes and different shapes. One of the functions you might find incredibly useful is the symmetry command. With this command turned on by placing a check mark next to it, whatever you draw on one side gets reproduced on the other side almost like a mirror image. Now that will make it easy to develop concepts of designs where you have to have symmetrical geometry on left and right or top and bottom, like bicycle handles or sunglasses, for example. Now, if this were a vector or raster editing program, you might not have the option to export your curves as DWG. In Sketchbook Designer, you do. So, you can actually export your curve profiles, then bring them into something like Autodesk Inventor to continue to add volume to your shapes. It's very clear that Autodesk realizes many people are using vector and raster drawing programs to create their simple concept sketches before moving them into CAD. Sketchbook Designer may be the company's initiative to recapture some of that market. This is more than just a drawing program, in my view. It's an early design development software that works very well with Autodesk's other 3D modeling packages. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong, test driving around in Sketchbook Designer.